okay? She is she not even eating a coochie. So <laughs> everything that's going on i mean i've been vlogging but i haven't really like did like a get ready with me since like everything that's been happening so girl you are not alone if you are feeling crazy right now if you just feel like in like a funk because i do but i'm trying to get out of that little funk but we still have a lot to fight for like and it's still probably gonna be a never ending fight because of the color of our skin, which is so sad. But girl, girl, anyway. So yeah, so today I'm just gonna be doing like a little, I'm gonna be doing a vlog, honestly. But I'm gonna be getting ready because today I had booked this little hotel just for like a little getaway. So Zero, I've been in the house. It's still coronavirus. Like I've been like in this little funk. Um. And I just wanted to get out of my house. I had to film my skincare routine anyway. And I wanted like, you know, that cute aesthetic vibe. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna get cute. Take some little cute natural looking pictures. Because I really wanna, I don't have any like effortless like cute pics. And I'm like, let me just do that. Like, you know, that Kim K like nude type of vibe you know what i'm saying so if you're new here hello my name is kyra don't forget to like come in so what the fuck are you doing so first girl we need some of my hair so today's hair sponsor is julia hair company 26 inches of greatness baby and i think that and i installed this wig myself Cause you know a girl is coming up in the world and selling her own wigs. I just wanna do like effortless curls and like something effortless with like this side part. I wanna like be messy with it and stuff like while I'm taking like my little flicks. So I'm about to cut it a little bit and then put some um curls in it. So that's what we're gonna do. I feel like my baby hairs are a little harsh, but like I would wear my baby hairs like this in real life. Like this is how I like my baby hairs. But yeah, it's cute. And all the hair details will be in the description box below. This is again, Julia Hair Company. The wig is bomb. Who called me? Oh, <laughs> girl, it's a little tea. So I this myself, bleach and knots, dyed it black and stuff like that comment below like what color i should do i really want to get into like a color but yeah let me i kind of want to put some layers in this hair just a little bit i just said that um but yeah let me just girl i don't know how to do this i'm new to this true to this so we gonna see what's tea but yes, all the hair details on this wig will be in the description box below. So let me cut it. <gasps> y'all, <laughs> let me show y'all where I'm starting to cut it. Because I kind of want this to be like one length. So these days, I be thinking I'm like a stylist or something. Like it's not, honestly, it's not a bad, bad idea to learn how to do your own hair. Like you can get the luxury of uh, hmm i kind of like it like this straight oh this is cute oh my god now i gotta even the other side but yeah it's not a bad idea to yeah that's gonna be cute wait let me um yeah it's not a bad idea to learn how to do your own hair because you can save so much money and not be in the hairstylist chair for a minute. If it's the echo in the in the video, I'm so sorry. But this bathroom is so cute. Like this is my dream. It's not really dream bathroom, but it's cute. Yeah, that's bitch. That's gonna be so cute. Now we gotta do the others. 
side. Girl, what? That's not even even. What if I cut my nipple? I would be like, what the fuck? Girl. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so this is what we working with. This is like, it's gonna be cute. But yeah, girl, this hair is bomb. Like I said, all the hair details will be in the description box below. Now we finna get the styling this first. And then we gonna get into like the makeup. And the makeup is gonna be like minimal. Like I don't want that much. I want this to be like cute, minimal makeup. Very, very like skin type makeup. I don't know about y'all, but I love, before I even like start getting ready, I like to smell some type of way. Like I like to smell good. Why does my nose look skinny? I don't know if y'all new here or not, but this is literally my favorite lotion bum bum cream and i mix it with cocoa butter because i've been having um eczema flare-ups i don't know what it's from i think it's because the you know climate change because here in wisconsin girl we literally went from fucking 40 degrees to 90 like damn can we like get in a proper transition like what the fuck i have to like smell good like you know I cannot not smell good. Dang, 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 nigga. Uh, I'm combing my hair right now. This is gonna be cute. Like, I love like little natural lengths like this. I used to wear my hair this length all the time. Like this short length. I think we'll get back to this. Cause that long shit, girl, it's getting too hot. And um, I'm waiting for my flat irons to warm up. Y'all, this Nano Titanium Baby Bliss, these flat irons, Bitch, you need them. Flat iron game changer. So I'm about to just curl my hair with them. And I'm gonna get into the makeup. And this hair has a lot of body to it. Like, and I'm fucking feeling it. So cute. <laughs> Y'all, and I haven't been wearing makeup at all. So. I have just been like, ugh, like dreading to put on makeup. I miss curls. I think I'm gonna pluck these out a little bit more. I feel like this is too much. Y'all, this nigga just texted me like, I told y'all about this him before. He texted me out the blue today. I don't like shit like that. Like I could've invited him and he could've got a little taste of his teas, but no, like he be playing too much. Like. Y'all, and then also, I be in my moods when I'm like, ugh, like, I feel so lonely sometimes. Like, it's disgusting. Like, I hate that I feel that way. But, just like, oh my god. And I shouldn't feel that way. I should be fine. But yeah, I don't, I don't settle. Like, he got me fucked up. He talking about some. I was like, he probably thought I was gonna say, "Oh, come see me" or something. No, so I didn't say that. He like, "Oh, well." First of all, what time? Did he? I texted him back at eight forty-three. It's eleven oh six. Like I don't like niggas like that. Like I should really like not text him back. But I'm gonna play his little game. He said, "I'm chilling, love. I ain't on shit. Just checking on you." Oh, it's all good over here, sweetie. That's what I'm gonna say. Thanks for checking. Check on your bitch. No, I'm playing. <laughs> no, for real though. I'm gonna say stay safe out here with everything. Hmm. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not gonna be like, oh, let me see. No. I'm good, sweetie. You can have the bitches that you be fucking with on a regular. Cause no, but anyways, y'all, I'm about to get to curling my hair, and I'm playing some music. I'm gonna get lit, and we just gonna vibe. Okay, I wish I had some hookah. Man, I haven't had hookah in so long. Like, I cannot wait to book. I cannot wait to book a flight to Atlanta. Like, I need to get the fuck. Ugh. <laughs> he is so lame. 
I'm gonna just like the message. <sighs> Niggas lame. Anyway. Um They're called Impeccably Lash. I think that's what it says. So yeah, and her packaging is so cute. And y'all really take a lot of consideration into y'all packaging and I love that, the ones that are sent to my DLS. This one is so cute, like this little drawer with a little crystal knob on it. I think that is so adorable. So yeah, I was gonna wear these, it would've been cute, but I'm gonna just put some mascara on now that i haven't worn lash extensions in so fucking long i feel like my face looks normal like i got used to my face like you if you wear a lash extensions like all the time you keep getting them done you'll be like damn i need my fucking lashes but now that i haven't had lashes in a while and i've been letting my own lashes grow i got used to my face and i ain't tripping because Girl, I love me. So we gonna make this work, okay? You can just go like that, like push on like the top like that and up to get the most out of your mascara. 
get on it. My lashes is long. I mean, they ain't long, but they like decent. You know, some bitches don't got shit, and I used to not have shit. I don't have pasty spray too for like glow. But yeah, I'm just going to put my clothes on and come back. So yeah, and I gotta put my lip gloss on, so. I don't know if I like the skins. It's a little, like the bra part. That's my first time getting like a plunge bra from her and it's it's making my boobs look saggy like and i don't feel like putting on my skin set right now so i don't know we'll see how these pictures come out if they come out good you'll see them but if they don't whatever but yeah y'all make sure y'all go shop julia here all the hair details will be in the description box below and yeah so um let's just see what to do so I will check in back with y'all once I get done. couple days since i got ready girl uh, i am feeling so mm, girl i just started my period oh my god like girl i was cramping so bad today it came on while i was at work girl i was like i need to go home like y'all like no i can't do it like i was literally like like that like I was so, I was like crouched over, like I could barely move. I hate starting my period on random times, like especially when I'm not at home. But anyway, so yeah, I came home, took a shower, put my pajamas on, and I've been in the bed since. Been watching 90 Day Fiance. I just started watching it yesterday. Y'all need to get on this. It's 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Days. They have a whole bunch of like categorized 90 Day Fiance's and i'm only on this one but everybody keeps telling me i need to start from season one but i probably will but not girl i have so much work to do like <laughs> i'm like let me get out of bed and get some work done so yeah i'm uploading a video today that's getting uploaded but today i really want to go get some crocs like i'm a croc girl and i really want to get some new ones and i need to get some new scrubs because i need short sleeve ones and i don't know what's open but it's gonna be four so i don't know i need to go to the bathroom because girl it's coming out of me so hold that thought. And also i just got a big package from zara i just ordered a whole bunch of cute shit girl i come with the looks and y'all were asking where this belt was from. Oh, God. Let me turn this away because my room is a mess. But, um, my room was always a fucking mess. 
But this belt is so fucking cute. It's so stylish and chic. It's from Zara. Girl. I am going to... If y'all want me to do a haul for y'all, I will do a haul, girl. Like, I will give y'all the looks. But I don't really think I'm going to do the styling with Old Polly Haul because I don't really fuck with them. Because, girl, they really be treating us bad. I, I'm going to tell y'all T. So, listen. So, Old Polly, like, I wanted to work with Old Polly just because I wanted to kind of gain a relationship with them. Because they do not like to pay black influencers. So, I was like, you know what? I want the content. Um, So, fuck it. L I'm going to let y'all send me some shit. And I'll just do it like a styling video just to gain like a relationship with them. But, you know, all the Black Lives Matter shit happened. We're taking notice to the brands that are not acknowledging us. Burp, skirt. I'm not fucking working with you. Y'all didn't say shit. Y'all not showing numbers. Y'all not putting up. Shutting up. Y'all not. No. So, I just don't really want to fuck with them. So, and also, they didn't, they let me choose some outdated ass shit. Like, some dressy shit. But I know the uh, Caucasian influencers, they get to get the new um, shit. Like, the cozy, cute collection. They try to copy skims and shit. They got to choose that. I didn't get to choose none of that shit. Like, no. Like, I don't, I like, I don't really, I don't know. Like... I don't like working with brands because I, if they come to me asking me for like, you know, to collab on a free rate, I'm like, hell no, because I know y'all got money and I've been wanting to work with y'all. Like, Pretty Little Thing pays me. But I'm not doing all poly because I wanted to like see what they was about and I wanted to get the content in on my channel just to have like an old poly styling haul, whatever. But... No, I don't think I want to fuck with them. And I can give a fuck. I would take this shit to Goodwill for all I give a shit. So, I don't even shop there. For real. So, I just wanted to see, like, you know, a little first impression. But, yeah, I don't think that video is coming your way. So, but anyway. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna turn this fucking video around to like a little pamper routine, but I mean like a pamper vlog or something. I don't know. I feel like shit, um, because I'm on my period and, but I really need to edit my skincare routine and do all that because I need to film a video tomorrow. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to hype myself up to get into a better mood because, girl... This is just not it. Okay. This feeling is not it. And I got a stain on my booty. Ugh. This is so irritating. So, anyway. So, I'm about to get my life together. I literally just got out of bed. So, I'm going to see what I'm going to do. So, yeah. But I definitely, for sure, for sure need to edit up my vlog. So, we're probably going to do that. And I really want to go to the Croc store. Because <sighs> I really want to get these Crocs for my coworker. Because her grandma just passed away. And she had a funeral. So, I want to get her like a little feel-good gift. And she's been wanting Crocs. And I live right around the corner from the Croc store. So, yeah. Let me get my life. Oh! A, a simple question to somebody to just start, because just, you don't want to work on any of those issues you're just like oh oh i just like did self, we just talked y'all they gotta be they gotta leave, be my least favorite couple on this shit. Like, I hate when they go on them. Because the girl that came all the way to Australia to see the girlfriend, she's like, Oh my God, why are you talking to your friends? Like, bitch, relax. You just got there. She's court. She's a queer. She's a lesbo. She's outgoing. Like, leave her the fuck alone. Like, why are you with her and you knew this about her? She's a fucking annoying. Like, I would have to dump that bitch. I'll be like, listen, like, this not finna work. Okay? She, she not even eating the coochie. So, they not even having sex. So, the girl, other girl is getting irritated and I would get irritated too. Like, what the fuck you came here for? To look at me? Like, I don't know. Like, these couples is crazy. And, girl, do not get me on baby love. Like, listen. <laughs> that whole relationship, 
girl please he just wants to get to america baby and he want to be a musician but the other one that irritates me is um but i really want the russian girl and that one boy to work it out like they so cute together and then um what is the other car oh the man that's looking for his fucking european girlfriend that don't never show up no the black lady irritates me yolanda i think that's her name she really was trying to get groovy with a young a young latin boy is she i don't know girl this show was a hot mess so make sure you tune in i had to tune in after i kept seeing the shit on tiktok oh and big big l or whatever the fuck his name is don't get me started on that couple they're annoying i really just want to stretch his damn oh his fucking what is his his face he don't got no neck it's like that that shit annoys me this show is a mess but yeah they're my least favorite but yeah y'all i'm just situating myself right now i'm about to take a shower and then um another shower and then get out and edit because i really i need to you know relax or something i don't know but yeah y'all so i never thought i would order from walmart.com and this is why what the fuck is this y'all too damn cheap to get some motherfucking bubble wrap y'all got workers cutting out papers and shit oh my god this is so ghetto but anyway so i just got this pfb um this is supposed to help with like lightening your bikini area underarms and i really struggle with this i think i said this in the beginning of the video and it just came in the mail so i'm really excited to try this so i'll let y'all know i'll keep y'all updated because i really want like my armpits to be the same color as my arm for the summertime bikini area whatever and it's, yeah so i'm really excited i'm really excited to try that out y'all i'm just stopping y'all and shit and talking to y'all but this is unacceptable y'all really got people cutting out this that like you know you take a scissors and cut paper all right whatever anyway <sighs> I'm exhausted. This period is really draining my energy. Hey y'all, it's the next day. I just got home from work. It's about 9 o'clock. And girl, I'm so fucking mad. Y'all know I had to post a video yesterday. A vlog. Y'all probably already seen it, obviously. And, well, some of y'all. Because I had uploaded it. Then it was fine. Like, I let it, you know, let youtube do this thing and see if it was like copyrights or anything wrong with it because you want to make your video private before you make it live so you know you get your money so girl i had posted it everything was fine girl i went to sleep woke up and this morning before i got to work and i seen i was copyrighted i was so fucking mad and it was already at thirty thousand views like y'all really got me tight so, but it's cool though. I'm about to re-upload it. And then I'm going, I hope it like, cause you know, YouTube, once you post a video and it's like doing numbers, like YouTube will keep going and pushing and pushing and pushing it to like people's recommend it. But if it's not doing numbers, it's not going to give a fuck about it. Cause YouTube likes numbers. So I don't know how this is going to go, but I think I'm about to, I'm going to change the song real quick. Uh, and then I'm about to re-upload it. I'm about to do that right now. And then I'll probably work out real quick. And then um, I need to wash my makeup brushes and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, I'll talk to y'all in a second. I just need to get this situated. Welcome to Mayfair Collection. This is Alex Hi. I'm here to pick up my um order. Hey y'all, so I had to pick up some makeup from Ulta since they got curbside pickup. And girl, what was I finna tell you? Oh, so I was at the post office, right? Cause I had to go pick up my package. And um, and so I was standing in line and mind y'all, I live in like a majority Caucasian area. So, 
So, oh, she coming. Oh, she need to see my or some shit. Do you need a, do you need a seat? Oh, shit. See this? Thank you. That's weird as fuck. Why don't they just hand it to you? Like, what the fuck? That is so stupid. Anywho. Um, so anyway, so I was at the the post office and the girl, she, so I was at the post office and it was like, um, uh, Caucasians. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep cool because you literally, it was a long ass way. These two girls was ahead of me taking all fucking day, talking up a fucking storm with the lady. But she had to um, send out some packages. But it seemed like they was having a full-blown conversation. So it's literally like people coming in, like long-ass line building up. So the girl behind me, she was like, do I need to be a Karen right now? I was like, oh, shit. I was like, girl, go ahead. I'm going to back you up. Go ahead hit the first move because I'm not going to let y'all stereotype me in you know be the loud one to be like um excuse me and then so homegirl was like i'll be the karen i said girl go on go ahead do your thing <laughs> i thought that was funny but yeah y'all so i'm just out making errands but i'm probably gonna go home and, and oh shit. i'm probably gonna go home and i just had to pick up some stuff from alta but um yeah and i'm gonna stop at the croc store if i can make it there so i'm gonna show y'all my crocs once i get to the crib but yeah i thought that shit was fucking hilarious hey y'all so i just got back from the store um yeah this is what i got from crocs I love Crocs, they're so comfortable. I literally never thought I would like Crocs. I used to talk about them when I was younger, like, ugh, them look like real alligator mouths, and I think that's the concept anyways. So, but yeah, y'all, Crocs are the best thing ever. If you do not have a pair, get a pair. I promise you, they're just like a comfortable little cute clog, so. So, I got these chrome ones. They're so cute. I put Bay and K. And then I put Yas with the fire emoji. These are so cute on and it's gonna look so cute when my legs are tan and you know, when I get to outside more with some anklets, so cute. So yeah, and then I also got these ones because if you do not know me, you probably never knew this or probably won't know, banana is my favorite fruit besides strawberries, so. I got the ones with bananas on them because it was like a special deal. It was like buy one, get one or something. So I got these. And then also I had got these for my work friend, my work homegirl, because her grandma passed away and she's been wanting a pair of Crocs because I wear my Crocs to work and she's always like, I want a pair. And her grandma recently passed away, so I wanted to gift her these. So... And I thought this was cute. And her name is Kuyam, so I got her like a cute. So yeah, these are cute. So yeah, y'all. So I'm just about to put these up. Cause these are mine. But anyways, y'all, that wraps up this little vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really don't know how this vlog is gonna go. So we'll see. But I love y'all so much. It's so ugly outside. Look, I hate this weather. I hate it. So I'm just gonna be editing for the rest of tonight and just try and plan out the rest of my week cause I got a busy week. I got stuff to fulfill, you know? And yeah, y'all, I love y'all so much and I'll see y'all next video. Bye.